Okay, so uh, you guys managed to arrive at this uh, outpost, and immediately the guards are like, Halt! Who goes there? Cintiga uh, wandering Imperial Fire Mage with her companions. Let us through. Did you diplomacy that or what? Do I need to diplomacy that? You might need to. Or what? I think we're choosing that option. <laughs> Uh, average. The, uh, one of the Imperial soldiers is like, hold it right there. I need to okay this with the... I need to okay this with the priest. And he immediately uh, bumbles off towards the... Uh, up the hill. Meanwhile, up here, Groven, you are... Uh, Having having a have losing losing a debate with uh, Brother Carol, a half orc priest of Arathus, who is surprisingly smarter than you on a lot of things theologically. <laughs> and furthermore, and and immediately as he's giving you a verbal beat down on the tenets of on the tenets of uh, civilization versus versus keeping the keeping the mountains pristine in comes in comes uh, an imp the one of the guards saying sir sir there's a there are some visitors at the gate he's like i can't be bothered right now i'm tending to the wounded send groven out there the verbally wounded <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Groven just kind of like rolls his eyes a bit and like, thank God. <laughs> like, it's like, I'm I mean, sorry, he has a higher religion check than you. I know you're trained, but you're <laughs> into I have a good. minus one. On, I have an eight intelligence. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get through the door. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> well, maybe well, if you had a higher intelligence. <laughs> he just walks into Push, it. not pull. Yeah. Scrapes his hands down at making that noise. Yeah, so okay, so push, Groven has pull. like a green diamond hovering above his head yeah <laughs> yes he, yes he's got he's it's like it's like if he wasn't directed he couldn't get to the toilet i fell in once no one questioned it <laughs> all right so guys out up comes a uh up comes a very very heavily armored dwarf uh to the gates Cousin. <laughs> what do I know about this place? Okay, uh, okay, uh, yeah, maybe we should get a little backstory here. Groven, this is a uh, this is a temple of Arathus that was put out here to to start spreading the word of civilization and modernization oh. to this back to this backwater community, and it's not doing so hot. It's been here for a while. The only person who would even bother to, to come out here is uh, Brother Carol, who is a half orc. Carol. K A R A L. Yeah, Brother Carol. Carol. You do realize you have a woman's name. No, not Carol. Not Carol. <laughs> not Carol. Carol. I know, I know. But anyway. Carol. Yes. Anyway, uh, anyway, yes, it's a, it's a, yes, Brother Carol, he is a, uh, Disabled, I guess you could say, half orc. He has a bad leg and appears to have a uh, brace for his leg made of his own design. But he does limp around, limp about everywhere. And he he's he's set up this place t now to basically be a hospital for any anyone coming through. And uh, needless to say, there have been a lot of uh, people coming here just to take refuge from, you know, the zombie apocalypse. Me meanwhile, you're here by happenstance. Uh, they, they, like uh, the imper the imp the empire itself, uh, have a have a large uh, contingent of dwarves. But you are actually from. Uh, I I'm gonna say you are from. Uh, what's it, what's the place? 
you were actually from Brackenmore, but you had been transferred there uh, months mo- transferred here months ago before the outbreak even took place. Well, actually, it's over a year ago now. Before the outbreak even took place, to uh, help out. As word of it spread that was Brackenmore doing fine. I can't remember. If that no, was. Brackenmore is completely burned to the ground. You know <laughs> about this now. I, okay. th- there, there's no one is starving there. No one is. Uh, no one's in any pain. Brackenmore is no more. Poverty is an all-time woe. Yeah, Brackenmore is now no more. But, uh, but yeah, so you're still trying to process that. But uh, you, you've been you've been out here just trying to uh, help out, even even though you know, tending to the wounded isn't you know, or you know, promoting civilization and. You know, civilized society in the uh, frontier is not really one of the tenets of Moradin. So you tend to butt heads with the uh, Carol from time to time. How dare you heal people! But yeah, he's uh, brother Carol is, uh, and you know brother Carol pretty well. He he hates the idea of uh, of uh, treating the wounded with uh, natural with just natural remedies coming from a. Uh, barbarian orc clan as a child he was uh wounded and they just kicked him by the wayside because his his uh leg was too busted up to for them to actually heal with natural remedies so he he's kind of bitter about that he prefer he prefers the uh mir- the wonders of modern civilization <laughs> He's he's very right. he's very un half orc ish. <laughs> he's the most civilized grump in history. Yeah, he is he is a grumpy bastard. <laughs> you know this, but anyway, you've you've had to deal with him for over a year. He's he's uh he's a hard ass, but he's he's got a heart of gold. <laughs> we should steal that before we go to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all he's getting for Christmas is lead and coal. Yes. But anyway, you you approach the front gates to see this uh, this uh, group, this misfit group of uh, what appears to be a human uh, in in a in a robe and a porcelain white mask. Another human with a horned helm, a burly looking gent you think is a human. He's just this guy right here. Another dwarf, and then an elf. <laughs> Another dwarf. Yep. Cintiq is in fact just two dwarfs standing on one standing on the other's shoulders. <laughs> We're all just dwarfs. All just no, her shoulders are too narrow. Yeah, <laughs> they're very thin dwarfs. I mean, they're children; otherwise, they'd be too tall. So yeah. So what do you say to them? Well, you guys, huh? <laughs> is someone dying or what what's your purpose here? Not much of a grand entrance, don't you don't have much of a grand entrance, do Grovin you? Grovin starts like chuckling to himself. <laughs> well Where, what exactly did we stumble upon? This is This our... is a small refugee camp for the wounded and the and those who can't protect themselves out here, but you guys look suitable to do one, and I don't know. You might be dying. Are you dying? We uh, were fairly maybe. recently. See, you're sturdy. I thought so too. Uh, and then Groven shot turns them away. And that's the last they ever see of him. <laughs> so, uh, oh, bye. Can I help you? Himself. He just kind of shrugs a bit. It has he, been he's a... not sure what to make of anything. Like, not sure what to make of any of this. It has been a rough road since we left Zafarin all of, what, two days ago? Something mm-hmm. like that. Something like that. We were ambushed by some vampiric bloodlined hill people. And they're... <laughs> I thought you were about to say vampiric hillbillies. 
Tempted. I thought those were further out west. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were just a little bit north, and then they, they took us out west, and we had to fight through the night, and they sick their lion gods on us. They were actually quite fluffy, and we got to turn them away. The point is, we have had a rough time, and we were hoping for a night in something where we could actually get a good night's rest. Maybe finish up healing the last of these arrow wounds we all seem to have. Hmm. Can't make you any promises about that. You'll have to talk to Karal. But he's in a one hell of a temper today. You can oh, take a lovely. shot at it. <laughs> shot at it. You're a good one. Not, not, not just take a shot at it. Did you see Roland lift her bow up slowly? Too soon. <laughs> but no. Yeah. Gosh. What? Now, now I'm just thinking about hillbilly Vryloka. I'm like, I'm like, gosh, how would they? How would they? It's like you're having Didn't to translate their language. Yeah, they're having to translate. Uh, like, like you're translating their language. It's like a, it's like a dialect of giant, but it's a weird dialect. So it just sounds like merchant game. How are we gonna have to kill you? Y'all got some blood there. Yeah. Golly! I tell oh. you what, man, that uh, that blood there looks good, man. <laughs> Shoot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's some that's some good that's some good old positive, man. Uh, like when like Grover like turns to the soldiers, you might want to keep an eye on this bunch. So, do you lead them up to the uh, chapel? Actually, he might just go bring Karal over here. <laughs> okay. That sounds slightly safer. They started to pick up weapons. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, I, yeah, we'll just leave him. It's not like we're so going he... to burn this place down. There's something I'm happening. Groven's way there control. and back. He picks up his weapon and shield. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> Brother Carol, he comes... Uh, he comes out, uh, he's walk. He's using his staff to help him walk along, but you hear this clicking sound as he approaches, and he's gimping along, just <laughs> exasperated, and has his pissed-off look. He's like, like wow, Ugh. it feels like miles walking down those steps. Ugh. Uh, who are these clowns? <laughs> Clowns, I guess. <laughs> they want to know if they can have refuge here, but uh, they're more than questionable folk. More than questionable, huh? Uh, you injured? He points his staff at you. Uh, yeah. Not me. I'm fine. It, mm. It's weird because, in mechanical terms, no, we're not. But I mean, we took some arrows. It's like, ugh. Hang on. Hey, you undead. He he gets a little closer. Hmm, no, we are I quite did living. Check to see if they were undead. Uh, I'm getting some weird necrotic readings off of you. My knees my knees giving me pains again. I think that just I means it's got <coughs> I can assure you. That if you are getting any necrotic readings <clears throat> off us, it's from all the undead we have slaughtered over months of travel. Really? He's yeah, gonna, we, uh, we tend to do that. He's like, not, not carrying any weird artifacts on you, are you? Have any, uh, we have our magical gear, which has kept us alive in this zombie Skulls apocalypse. that won't go away. There were some questionable people coming through a while back, carrying a box with them. Anytime I got near that box, my knee starts hurting, feeling that same pain again. Are you sure? You're, are you completely sure you're not carrying any weird items with you? Do we still have that crystal? Back Do we still have that crystal? It wasn't a crystal. It was like this weird shard. Well, I'm yeah. trying to think if in character she would even remember that right now. Because it hasn't come up in, like, weeks of travel. Well, not weeks of travel. Weeks of travel. 
Because I'm yeah. telling you right now, if you are with those Shadow Legion punks, we don't want any of what you're selling. I think men him mentioning the actual like caravan that we also came across would probably uh, be a yeah. reminder. Yeah, yeah like what he said right now with the Shadow Legion. But fortunately, uh, I can assure you that we have not ever dealt with... Actually, rewind, need to rephrase that. <laughs> we have never encountered them ever in our lives. What is a Shadow Legion? Is it some kind of pie? No. <laughs> it's like, we have not worked with the Shadow Legion. They kind of stay away from us, Imperial Fire Mages. Mm. Fire Mage? I've heard of your type. If it was up to me, I'd have y'all locked up as war criminals. I guess that's why I'm not fielding any armies right now. Cranky as hell. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, Groban's just kind of, like, rolling his head from side to side, like, oh. I trust these guys less and less every minute. So he's feeling sorry for them because he knows how much of a bother Carl can, Carl can be. You know, you know, we're getting closer and closer to having to burn this place down. That would normally... You are! Jesus! Uh, <laughs> he's like, well... We have to turn tail what, what is this Jesus you're speaking of? Yeah. Well, familiar let's take that. a look at the artifact. I know you got it. Might as well figure out why it gives me such knee problems. As he starts gimping back up towards his uh, towards the church. Do you follow him? Well, we've been invited inside. Might as well should. He's like, hey, welcome to my little slice of the asshole of the world. Everything comes through here, and it all stinks. As he as he's walking by, lady, he kind of tips his he kind of tips his head, ma'am. I am inverted hospital. As he goes inside, I'll have to I'll have to push you guys in. Whoa! Stairs. Yeah, this is the inside of screen you guys all in. He's like, yep, little slice of heaven here. We got all the amenities you need for the wounded. I had to tear out the pews and stuff to make the shacks outside, as well as some stretchers, which I made out of the out of my bed. But yeah, yeah, a lot of people getting healed here today. As he goes around casting what appears to be healing magic on uh, the... On, you know, the villagers and stuff. So, some of them are a little bit tougher cases, but, you know. That's what the bets are for. Thanks, because my magic power is extra strength. Yeah. So he, uh, he does, he does, he does look, look you guys up and down. He's like, all right, so let's see it. Wait. Hold on, hold on. He wants... He brought us into his healing chamber so that we could see that he could see the necrotic artifact he thinks we oh, have. Oh no, he's leading you guys in here. Okay. I was yeah, there's a, there's a yeah, there's a there's a side room here. Sorry, I should have should have been. All those people are getting healed. Now we should let her death for a pack. We're gonna poke one of them and see at least the side. Just in case he heals. The small library. He's got a table here. So, anybody who all wants to actually go in here and take a look at this? Yeah, sure. I don't see anything. I think Groven jumped on the table and then jumped on. <laughs> like, Groven, how many times do I have to tell you stop jumping on the table? I think once. <laughs> Like, get smart with me again, dwarf. I'll show you. It'll be the first time you got smart with me. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And so, do you guys uh, pull out the uh, weird artifact? 
I suppose we don't have a choice if he's his psychic me as well. <laughs> psychic arthritis. Oh, yeah. but it's not psych. He's not psychic. He can just detect weird necrotic energies with his. Whenever, whenever necrotic energy is about, his knee starts hurting. <laughs> well, Stick will say this while she reaches in the bag of holding. I'm not sure this is really what you were talking about, but we did find it a while up the road. After these dragons savage, they uh, caravan of some sort. Hmm. All right. Well, Pull it out and then plop it down. Give us a little looky loo here. Oh boy. Yeah. Did the box by any chance say something to the effect of shard B on it? That sounds familiar. Yeah, there was a box like that that had been pulled through here a while back. My knee started aching just like it is now. Actually. <laughs> in the point of honesty, I should actually kind of misremember this we found the box this we actually found after a dragon died mm. it was what was left it kind of dissolved afterwards uh, the dragon took the shard? so i take it the dragon swallowed it then huh uh probably yeah did he was there some weird things going on with this dragon where there's zombies about that happen to be under his control. Yes. Odd fire zombies. <laughs> it was a fire dragon. I knew it! Oh, what we got here is a very rare and very deadly necro shard. You ever heard of these? Uh... Now that he has named it, what would I roll to see if I have? Uh, you would need to roll an Arcana check. Or actually, no, you need to roll a Religion check because it's undead related. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly. Mm, yeah, you you've heard of these. Now that you're putting two and two together, because you've been discuss, you've been kind of hinted at with the idea of Nerul. This is a shard from the from the uh, corpse of Nerul, which floats around in the voids of the astral sea. Oh, shard of Nerul. How did I not remember that till now? Neck neck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you put it. You finally put it together. What this shard is specifically. Yeah, once he's named it. You've probably read about it at some point. But anyway, yeah, it's a it's a shard of one of the original death gods. Not the first death god, but the death god that was killed by the Raven Queen and she took his portfolio. The death god a lot of tasteful nudes in that portfolio. <laughs> Turns out he sucks at death. It is it is a uh, it is kind of a it might be more it's kind of a fable uh, among the religious that there's always going to be a new death god supplanted by someone else. The death god always dies and is supplanted by another death god. The Shinigami. Yeah. yeah that, that's basically the origin, yeah, yeah. Aram was the original death god. Nerul was a necromancer similar to uh, s similar to Vecna who uh who attained godhood and then uh, killed Aram, took over his portfolio of undeath, or not undeath, but death, and then uh, groomed up a assistant, which was another female uh, wizard, who then killed him, and, took, and that became the Raven Queen. So... The Raven Queen is probably due. F like the joke is, the Raven Queen's probably due for someone to kill her. Unfortunately, the joke ends there because the one who's probably going to most likely take over after her is Orcus, the demon. Whoops. But anyway, anyway, this is we're talking about Nero here. Yeah. The dead god, the dead god of death. Yeah. That's when he not, says like necro shards, that's not redundancy. That's that. a fact. <laughs> Some equal kind of mask palm. Like, oh, I should have known that. 
The necromantic God. energy in this shard is enough to imbue its imbue its wielder with the uh, with the power with at least a modicum of the powers of Nero. Granted, a small percentage of the power of a god is still a lot of power, but uh, yep, looks like this dragon ate it, absorbed the power, and uh, looks like looks like after you killed him, he. Uh, he must have disintegrated, I take it? Yep. Hmm. See, I've been reading up on this stuff, and I think it actually has something to do with this dust that's been going around the air. Hmm. That could be the case. The... I guess you could call it the largest chunk of Nehru left is in... Well, I guess I can't really say if it's orbit... But it is in the night sky now. Yeah. Yeah, if only I had, like, some way to track it. I don't know. You guys come across any star charts? 